Well, the time has finally come. It came, it went. You think like, wow, a whole month that I have to eat a certain amount of calories. I don't think I can do it. But guess what? Raise your hand if you're human. Okay, we're human. You make mistakes. I, fortunately, this whole time, I've only made one cheat day mistake, and that was pretty much two days ago. I think I was coming to the boiling point like... I saw how many pounds I lost. I said, listen, this is a treat. So Friday, because today's Monday, Friday, uh, you know, we was having our meal. And I ordered steamed chicken and steamed vegetables for pretty much the last day. Because what I'm going to do is I'm not to my goal. Um, my goal, well, you'll see after I show you how many pounds I lost. I have a goal that I wanted to get to. And I wanted to get my goal for my first round was not met because I was stalling and I was losing ounces more ounces more than pounds. And only because in this, let me get, let me get comfortable. So in this diet or, you know, this is pretty much a jump start to a healthier life, you know, getting into maintaining your body, working out. It's teaching you to eat the right things, the correct things, and more of a portion wise. So when you, you know, you have to really understand your body, what your body can take. Because everybody is different. You know, I can, me, like I said, certain things won't affect my, you know, me losing weight. Like let's say if I eat oranges, and I'm okay with oranges, and I still lose weight, but somebody else eat oranges. And they said, well, it says I can eat oranges but I'm still not losing anything. Sometimes citrus can fall back. So I had to really learn what was right for my body and what was, what, you know, wasn't. So orange, eggs, and meat, which is, are the steaks, I saw that I can only eat that maybe once a week without stalling or losing ounces to a half a pound or whatnot. So pretty much what I had for breakfast, pretty much every breakfast I did, uh, I had my grapefruit with some cinnamon on top and some tea. Now the tea that I drink are two teas. One is the regular supermarket green tea and then I have this pomegranate green tea. Now you can have any type of flavor green tea as long as it, as it is officially green tea because some people say green tea and it's not, it doesn't have no trace of green tea or whatever cheap brand it is. But um, there's so many different types of green teas that you can drink. Now, I know people say, oh, green tea, but then they're not forgetting there are different flavors of green tea. Some people like to just keep it strictly green tea uh, with no flavor whatsoever, but there is another green tea that's a, a green mint green tea that I had yesterday. Oh my gosh, it was so good. So, yes, yeah, so that's what I had in the morning, and all the pictures I'm going to show you is pretty much the standard uh, foods that I ate. You, you can remix it any type of way that you want to. You don't have to have the same boring thing. But like I showed you in the first video, I'll put all the bit um the link down below. Uh, the herbs that I use, the seasons that I use, and and in pictures you'll see the protein, the vegetables that I've ate. Uh, I remember one time that there was one more apple in there. You know when apples get kind of dry, it's not juicy anymore. Pretty much what I did with that, instead of just eating it like a regular apple, I smashed it up and made it into applesauce. So you really have to get creative. They have soups that you can make. I didn't care for the soup too much only because I just felt like it's just putting more water in my system and it's making me more hungry. I don't know. I don't get full off of soup. But you can make a chicken noodle soup. They have really low reduced chicken broth. And you can put the celery in there, which will be your vegetables. And, of course, you have the chicken. Um, there are different ways to measure chicken. To measure leafy vegetables, like, you know, spinach and lettuce and all that stuff, you have to do as a cup. Now, when you actually cook the leafy type of greens it reduces so when you, you know when you have like a whole thing a spinach and you put it in there and you cook it and it comes down to this you can put a little bit more okay they only want you to have a cup size if it is uncooked when it's cooked i think it's maybe two cups but all the measurements of course is online so 
This is just my experience and what I did on the ACG. So you can do it any way that you want to, but I am, I just want to be your muse. I want to be your inspiration that this is something that you can start and jumpstart your weight loss. So like I said, I did not get to my complete goal, but I am going to be doing a second round in two weeks. Now, your these drops stay in your system for about 21 days. So if you want to restart for whatever reason, whether you go on a trip, whether it's your birthday, whatnot, and you didn't achieve your goal and you just want 10 more pounds, 15 more pounds, you can do so. The way you do that is you stop your drops three days ahead. So you're starting the 21 days early. So I stop my drops like Friday or Thursday. So three days has gone by. So I have about like what, 18 more days to go um, with, the with the drops being in my system. So once they are out of my system, then my body is brand new. It doesn't have any trace of the drops anymore in your system. You can actually reload again. So I can start my drops again, do my two loading days, and continue as if it's my first day on it. So that's what I'm going to do. I already figured out when I'm going to restart it. It's going to be during Cinco de Mayo because I love Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, I do. So I love Cinco de Mayo. So it's either going to be the day before or the day after. Cinco de Mayo will be my first or my second loading day. But I know Cinco de Mayo is one of my loading days that I want to do. So like I said in the beginning, we're all human. You know, if you do make a mistake, like those fries are just smelling so good and you just have to have one. Listen, one, uh, honestly, if, during a regular day, one meal is not going to hurt you. But on an ACG, it's not going to hurt you, but it's going to put you back for a little bit. But it's not something you cannot correct. So, like I was trying to explain to you on Friday, we were eating and my kids had some fried chicken. Like they, they well, it wasn't fried chicken. Yeah, it was fried chicken. And it was three, you know, it was three wings left and it was like a handful of fries. I was like, damn it. Today's my last day of my drops. I just wanted so badly. So I ate the chicken. I think, yeah, I had about three, the three chickens and I had the handful of fries. And I said, like, oh my gosh, that was so good. Because I haven't. I, like I said, I haven't dipped and sipped. I haven't done anything against protocol for a whole month. Last year, I would try to, you know, dip and stick and like, mm, whatever. But this time, I was straight through. I was serious. I knew what goal that I wanted to meet. And each week, you know, I was hitting certain goals. So I said, you know what? I'm not even going to do it. But this time, I was like, bump that. I'm going to eat this chicken. So I ate it. And being that we're so used to eating such a small portion... I felt sick afterwards and it wasn't even that much, but I felt sick because my body wasn't used to the fried chicken and the fries. So, you know, I kind of panicked. I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel sick. So pretty much anytime here is a, a trick for you guys. If you do not, if you have some breakdown, please let it just be one breakdown or like five breakdowns. Like, oh, it's fine. When you have a breakdown, all you have to do is drink a ton of water and green tea. So what I did, I had about eight glasses of water and I had three glasses of green tea. So in the morning, all I, I actually just stalled and stayed there at the point that I was at. And I didn't gain, I didn't lose, I just stayed there. So I was really happy about that. And now that I'm in phase three, now I am about to start working out. Because once you're in phase three, you're not on the drops anymore. So, and you're eating a little bit bigger portions that you were eating before. So now I can work out and I can have, and you can add more food to your menu. So now I can add more things. Now, when you add more things, don't be scared because you are going to just gain pretty much uh, weight only because those empty fat cells are being filled now. So now it's just going to be a little bit heavier on the scale. At one time, being that you're not eating as much, of course, you're going to be lighter in the morning. But now that those fat cells are being, you know, secured with some type of food, then now it's like, okay, you may gain maybe three pounds back, but don't worry because fat is still being dissolved in your body. Because I had... Uh, I had pretty much a, a good meal yesterday and I woke up with a complete flat stomach and smaller than I was yesterday. So fat is still being demolishing from your body. It's just that the fat cells are being filled. So don't be scared. 
Now, in phase three and four, if you're not going to reload, three and four is pretty much the maintenance phase. You're working out. So work out. Have fun. Enjoy the body that you're in. Because right now, I'm enjoying the body. So I'm going to show you all the pictures and everything. So um, with any further ado, here is a sneak peek. No, not sneak peek. Here's what everything that I've done. All right, guys. Stay tuned. Hey guys, these are just some quick meals that I wanted to show you. Not everyday meals, but just special meals to me. This is tuna fish on top of cucumbers with a pate of mushroom. This right here is the chicken breast and smashed cauliflower. And this is my green tea and my grapefruit in the morning. And this right here is actually tuna on a bed of baby spinach. This right here is steak with some mushrooms and some onions. This is a turkey breast with just, you know, just plain cauliflower. And my husband put this. This is the turkey breast that is chopped up in um, green peppers. And this is my tuna fish patties on top of just arugula and my rolled up spinach chicken breast that I had. Now, when I was 175 pounds, I went down to 174, which wasn't a problem. Like I said, I was losing ounces to pounds. So you'll see for a while I was... I was, you know, stalling for a while. I was stalled at 170 for a good while. The 70s were so annoying to me. So now I can say I woke up to 167 because I did an apple day. Let's get into waist training on HCG diet. This is a picture of me in college. I had to be about 19 years old, about 150, 145 probably. So I was small, but not a very small waist. To the left is me waist training. As you can see, the indent of my swollen waist. And the right is 2009, just being slimmer. On top, you see it. This is me in Target three weeks ago. And all the three pictures of me this morning. This on the side is a week ago, guys. And me waist training got me smaller waist in a week. Now that you see that I'm 167 pounds, I am almost to my goal. My goal was 160, uh, but realistically, you only lose 30 pounds if you have like a perfect pound loss. But like I said, a lot of times for people who are newly on this, you're going to lose about up to like maybe 25 pounds only because you have to understand your body and what it can take. So I see it all through my neck. You know, it's not as roly-poly. I'm getting my collarbone. My arms are smaller. You know, just my whole body. I was in Soho with my mom yesterday, and I just could not stop looking at myself every time I went past a shop with the window. I couldn't stop. I'm like, oh, my gosh, look how small I look. But I am so proud of myself. You're going to be so proud of yourself. Even if you lost 15 pounds, you lost 15 pounds in a month, and you did that by eating healthy. So you're not eating paper you're not eating aluminum foil you're not eating air you are getting yourself healthy you're teaching yourself how to eat smaller portion you're teaching yourself how to eat the right amount of proteins vegetables and fruits so this is such a great way to jump start your weight loss journey and oh my gosh thank you so diane oh my gosh she is such a blessing she's such a sweetheart you know she's there she's very informative she's there to help you you can text her call her email her she is there to help you out of any dilemma and like literally she texts you right back and you know waist training if you saw the pictures I didn't even have a smaller waist like that and I showed you at my smallest that I did not have a waist I just had a, a, a curve you know, it wasn't like a nice sharp edge and I'm really happy that I'm getting there. So I'm continuing to do my waist training and everything. So uh, I'm going to have a complete, complete update of myself in next month. And the reason why next month, because June is when I'm going on my vacation in June wise. So I want to be done with the drops and work out and I'll be ready for my experience. And yes, so thank you guys for being on this journey and watching and being inspired. I had so many people emailing me and sending me Instagram things saying thank you so much for putting this to light. So yes, Diana is the one to go to. But other ones that I've been to, they're just kind of quick. Some of them never been on a drop. They're just selling it. Uh, some of them just have really ridiculous protocols. I don't know. And, you know, they don't contact you within, like, weeks or anything. But she actually contacts you in a day. No matter how many emails she has, she's contacted everybody within a day or two. And I just 
just loved her helping me on this journey but all right guys thank you so 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 much for being here and i'm still going to continue to post pictures peace <laughs>